Hey, what is up? This is Krzysztof from Budapest, Hungary, and we are at the finals of the KBB 2021 Loop Station category, and I'll explain how I won this. I explain what I did exactly. I can tell you I was really freaking tired and depressed at this time. This was a huge push, grinding the loop 24-7. It was a crazy, crazy ride and my creative juices weren't flowing as much anymore because I had the definite pressure of, bro, you gotta bring something new. What else can you bring? How can you bring it? What new techniques can you bring in the loop that nobody did in these previous rounds? You know, I had this pressure in my mind and it didn't make it easy. It made it really, really hard. So I came up with this round actually knowing what I want in the next round. So. I decided when I got into the finals that I'll do a remake of a Hungarian folk song in the next round as like a tribute or something and I wasn't sure how people's gonna take it. Knowing that how they took it when I did something different against PSN in my first round and they hated it, although the judges seemed to love it. I wasn't sure if it's good or bad but I really wanted to do it so my idea was that I'll do a round one against Robin which is gonna be like a destroyer which is gonna bring the power which is gonna like you know so I did it and then I got Robin's video where he made a song a love song a ballad for me you know and me in the forest you know and I was like uh, I need to answer to this this is a battle this is not just like putting the music out this is a battle so if you're not reacting on that you might lose some points so I took the routine I did and I had 24 hours to write a rap lyrics to learn it to insert it into the song and to record it so that rap part at the end wasn't meant to be and I'll tell you the lyrics exactly so if you can't hear it or your English is not so good or maybe my English is not so good <laughs> then uh, you can understand it now but the point was that it was a crazy journey because that day I had a concert and you'll see what I did in the concert extra to you know fight back against Robin when I got to the final I was like no I'm not gonna lose this no even if I won't sleep which I didn't <laughs> I got to sleep 10 in the morning and the deadline was 11 in the morning so yeah I had one hour to spare score but you know what I'm saying it was a crazy crazy freaking grind yeah. I see the three and, and I this see happened the two and the one. so three, I had a concert two, and I one. was like beatbox all right Robin this was a cool round um Next time, please let Brez write your lyrics because at least he knows what rhymes are. <laughs> it's like a, you know, yeah, like a you, but, you know, late aside, night with Letterman uh, or something. I love your music, <laughs> and next time you're making an album, please let me mix it, all right? So this is like a stand up comedy bit kind of thing. And here we are. I was trying to match the color, so I had some purple in the back because he had purple in his video. That's another little thing that most people, I think, didn't get on because why would they? It's not a big thing. I'm just telling you. And the beginning of this round was a big risk, and you see why. This is why. Because I had to spare 15 minutes to prepare something that is gonna come in the second half of the song. But again, I told you, what new could I do? What, what could I bring? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something where the beat is gonna change up so much. It's gonna change up constantly. It's gonna change up like, what the f How is this even possible on a freaking loop station? So that's how and this is the only way I could do it and also I tried it out without this much of layering for the drums but it just didn't work it needed those extra you know those metallic textures to get the jungle vibe the jungle drums come alive so I was like 15 seconds okay let's see how much time do I need to make the beat and start already putting on tops putting things on top of it so making it live I think it's still gonna be under one minute so I was like yeah let's do it
And again, panning, panning. Can you hear the panning on the hi-hats? Just little details again. Freakishly long reverb tail on the din, 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 din. the reverb tail is so long to connect everything and create more like a feel of harmony although this is just a melody because i was experimenting recording a, a drone harmony like which is like a steady but then like more voices so it's harmony but it took so much time so i was like okay let's put a long reverb so the sense of harmony and fullness is still gonna be there just out of the clicking melody And again, we talked about how I like to align up some of my bass sounds with the lyrics. And if you know what's coming in the lyrics, listen for the bass. The bass has like a mmm, like this thing at the end. And when I'm saying, nobody can stop me now, that now aligns up perfectly with the ooh, that's there with that reason. So I had the bass line, I had the lyrics, and I was like, oh, let's do something that enhances that Nobody can stop me now, you know, at the end, like, yeah. Yeah. I faced death, I faced death, and I made it through somehow. Nobody can stop me now. I can you hear it? I faced death, and it, they are just matching somehow. together so nicely. Nobody can stop me now. I faced life, I faced death, and I made it through somehow. Beat. Nobody can stop the me now. Starting to record the drop bass. I death, and I made it through somehow. You have more textures. Nobody can stop me now. And again, the idea here with the was that I already had like this bass glide and I was like, I wanted to connect a little bit the verse and the chorus. So I wanted to have also a bass glide in the drop so you feel more connected to it because you heard something similar before, if it makes sense. The thing that I'm just recording here, it's a higher pitched bass so it's more like making it really full and having lows and mids and everything and then a part which is like really rhythmical and really wonky wonky meaning that you're not exactly on the beat not it's not a triplet it's somewhere between it's a feel it's wonky that's what they like to say that's what's happening here And again, just a little detail. This is the kind of detail that I did with the first round against Joshua, first drop when I do the, the kick drums on the synth, you know, taking away and adding back together, but creating some rhythmical change. So it feels more like not a loop, but a song. So adding, adding details uh, nonstop. Adding a melody similar to the original and bringing the scratch. And what's happening when I'm bringing the scratch? I'm also hitting a beat repeat and some extra effects to change up the beat. So I'm not just bringing a new element, the elements that you thought you were knowing also changing. So multiple changes at the same time, creating more interest, more, yeah. <laughs> Uh, not beat you, beat scatter, sorry. And you see me hit that panning delay at the end. That's just the panning delay with the cut of the lows. So it's just creating the transitional thing. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You can still hear the boom boom. And here I had to push so much buttons because I... A face life, a face Okay, so what I did there is uh, bringing back how I recorded my drums in the beginning is that I used the overdub function of replace. So I had the jungle drums recorded and replaced with this hip hop drums. So by the push of a button, I get jungle drums. But with a beat scatter, I wanted to record half time of that jungle drums, which is almost like the hip hop drums, but it's more full of like snare drum hits, you know? And I had to silently record this with the fader down. So 
bringing back the jungle drums, record the beat scatter, and at the same time bring some new effect settings on the input effects, blah, 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 blah. A lot of buttons to push, a lot of buttons to, you know, mess up. And that's why I had to record this. Here you see me pushing and everything, but in fact, this is around 9.30 in the morning without any sleep, with having like a four hours of concert before. Holy shit, I was so exhausted. I'm thinking about it and I'm gonna die right here. Holy shit. He's death and made here's it coming somehow. an easter egg again Nobody can stop me now I face life, I face here's death and made it through somehow Nobody You hear the drums? Can okay, sure now. I face life, I face death and made it through somehow Nobody can stop Different me kind now. of riser face life, face death and made it through somehow Nobody And now. Can stop me now I want you to listen only for the drums Because in the background, masked with the reverb you're gonna already hear the jungle drums, the you know, that one. You're gonna hear it with masked with a reverb. So when it hits, it's like already teased a little bit that this is gonna happen. This is just a little detail that I love so much. Check it out. Can you hear it in the background? Yeah, one more time. And there we hit it. Now, this wobble, the do 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 that sounds so brutal for one reason. Obviously, I'm using a filter to filter the do 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 do. But what I did here is crazy. You're gonna learn a lot from this, or maybe you just gonna be like i would never thought about that be sure to like this video be sure to share it with a friend be sure to subscribe because i'm giving out so many information for free holy shit. who wouldn't subscribe right the thing that's happening is that you're having like a 16th note wobble and you can just find websites really easy you put like reverb time calculator or stuff like that and you put like a tempo in there so i put my bpm tempo i don't know 170 eight whatever was it and it calculates you how much is one sixteenth how much is one eighth how much is one fourth and what i did is that i put my reverb delayed because the reverb in the mk2 having a function called pre-delay which is meaning that the reverb is gonna play after that amount of time so if it's seven milliseconds it's gonna wait seven milliseconds and the reverb play if you increase the pre-delay the delay is coming back later, so I can give you an example of that. This is a short pre-delay. Hey, hey, you almost hear the reverb as it's like, you know, it's happening. But as I increase the pre-delay, hey, 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 ho. So you almost getting like a delay, but it's not a delay because it's with the texture of the reverb, right? So what I did is that I looked up how many milliseconds are 1 16th in the tempo of my song. Because my wobble, that's 1 16th. And I programmed the pre-delay to that exact amount of milliseconds. Because when my bass hits, then it gets faded down. When it gets faded down, my reverb will appear. And when the bass comes up, the reverb will disappear because I set the time also to 1 16th. Whenever the bass hits, there's no reverb. Whenever the bass is faded down with the filter, there is reverb. And this way, it's not just a simple but with some extra textural thing happening in the middle. Obviously, your reverb don't have to be in max volume. This is just a textural thing to fill it more out, to give it more spookiness, more, you know. And at the same time, of course, the bass is gliding all over the place. Woo, woo, you know, doing this crazy slide. So, so many things happening there. And just listen for it. It's just getting way more spooky and like, ah. Oh. Can you hear those... You know, those things appearing and disappearing right there in the break. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. I mean, that's crazy fast. Uh, and now... 
new melody kind of thing, which is kind of related to the original, but not. Great. And I'm coming back half time. You have a mix to fix, and you can do something about it. So the drum pattern is becoming. You know, it's more like a breakbeat kind of thing, because before it was. You know, it was like this, and then it was. And now it's mm, whatever it is. But this is the third drum pattern that you're hearing. And here comes the lyrics. You have a mix to fix. Sinjo can do something about it, but I doubt it. Just keep on try it. I allow it. Scream my name. Just shout it. I'm going to beat your ass, mon petit. Like mon petit, like, you know, in French. My little one, you know. There's no way around it. Hide behind your smoke, dude. Do your voodoo. I don't want that watch for this as much as you do. Um, I don't remember. Let's see. <laughs> what? <the f> <laughs> You have to mix the fix, and you can do something about it But I doubt it, just keep on trying, I allow it Scream my name, just shout it I gotta beat your ass, my buddy There's no way you're around it, hide behind the smoke, dude Do your voodoo, I don't want that watch as much as, as you do The big victory is mine, you go brew brew -hoo. So when I get the Fortis, I can send it to you So I'm fronting him on his previous video, like, hide behind your smoke dude, do your voodoo, like, you know, calling me Kristoff, and like, you know, and telling him that I don't want the watch, I'm just gonna win. So, whatever, if you want it, you can take it, I'll send it to you. Obviously not, but, you know, this is a battle, battle talk. <laughs> Is mine, you go, so when I get the 40 second, send it to you. I'm here. You cannot... I don't know if you saw it, but I do this three ways. So, one to the left, one to the right, and one to the camera. This one's for PSN, this one's for Joshua, and this one is for you, Robin. You cannot stop me now, you cannot stop me now, and you cannot stop me now, because nobody can stop me now. So, yeah, that's a little Easter egg again, how I thought about it. Again, you see, how I compose is not like doing shit randomly. I have a definite purpose to get through, and I try to bring as much things to at least subconsciously deliver the message as I can. So yeah. Stop me this now. Was for PSN, Joshua. And you cannot stop me now. And for the camera, Robin. And you cannot stop me now. Nobody, nobody can stop, stop me now. And that's time. <laughs> that face. <laughs> oh my God. That's that's like 9:30 in the morning, and this is the first take. That I went through the whole song. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So and tired. Oh, I again forget to check if I had the whole song built up in one minute. Let's see. But it can stop me now. Oh hell yes, face I had. I already had somehow. I already had the lyrics recorded because you remember I talked about it in the beginning. I did that drum recording and whatever. But still, this means that I must have had the build up of the whole thing under 45 seconds. I think it's it's as fast as it goes with this equipment. Obviously, I really really want to stress in these videos: the more you can win on your build up time, it's so important. Make a shorter song or whatever, but don't drag recording time because that's the first thing to set the mood and if you set the mood not necessarily right then it has some benefits to do as i tell you <laughs> do as i tell you follow my commands right now whatever anyways thank you so much for tuning in we have one video left the last one of the finals which was again a crazy one and i'll explain a lot of things until then, see you in the next video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, share it with others. Watch the crap out of these videos over and over and over again because there's some knowledge here that you can use maybe in your looping. And if you have further questions or anything to do with music, I do private lessons. Be sure to find me on Instagram and see you next time. Bye!